this is like the uh, the opposite of miming, isn't it? Only only audio and no, you know, you know what I'm saying. Ladies and gentlemen, how are we doing? Good to see you all. I hope you're doing well. It's an audio book. Starting a little bit early today. I'm a little bit excited. A little bit excited. Just a little bit excited. Just a little, little, little bit excited. But that's all right. We'll, we'll wait a little bit. I don't even know. How many people are in here? How many people are in, in chat? I don't even know. <laughs> I'm just gonna I'm gonna put a little couple of a couple of little bubbles out there to pop already. Not in your reserve. It's not fallow deer, okay? Fallow deer looks like we're gonna be showing them off next week. So uh, they are in early testing at the moment. They got them to a shape that they're pretty happy with. So next week, hopefully, we can show you the fallow deer. So yeah, that'd be good. Hey, Mel's to Donnie. How are we doing? Bottom boy train Savannah. Sherman, Rankov, so many good people. No, Ranko, how you doing? Good to see you. Scarlet Quiver, Mr. Roo, and Mr. Roo, Mr. Fisherman Roo, and Pixel. Hang gliders confirmed finally. Pixel, I told you not to give it away, man. And I streams over, ladies and gentlemen. Hang gliders are coming out tomorrow, and as well as F 16s and Apache attack helicopters. But you're the Apache attack, the Apache attack helicopters. Are only legal for ptarmigans, okay? Nothing else. So you can just fly over those bridge lines and boop, 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 and just get rid of all the ptarmigans. How does that sound? Hmm? How does that sound to you guys? Nice. Fits in with the genre of the realistic hunting game, doesn't it? Huh? AC 130s, that's the week afterwards, Savannah, okay? AC 130s, yeah, definitely. With a nice big thermal. Hit them with the, the 30 cal cannons as well. It's going to be good. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, tomorrow I think we can start. Can can someone drop like I don't know how restream does this to me. Can someone drop that in there? Like how many numbers have we got in each? If you're on Twitch, how many are on Twitch? If you're in YouTube, how many are on YouTube? If you're on Facebook, how many are on Facebook? This is the buck that you heard. I can't see him yet, and he's down there somewhere. I got no idea how big he is. Oh, there he is. He's massive, TK sized for sure. 81 on Twitch, 40 on YouTube. Mm. 89 on YouTube now. Here we go. It's getting it's getting better. Look at the size of this monster. Huh? What an absolute unit. This this uh has definitely taken away a little bit. Like you know the ideal thing would have been 200 plus whitetail coming out there and then we shoot that and then I go on to tell you a little bit more about this uh, community league that starts up tomorrow so uh basically ladies and gentlemen from tomorrow uh there's going to be a new tab you're going to find the launcher uh it's going to be called cool. it's going to be under the competitions tag competitions tag in the launcher that's one and it's called the community league and basically uh it is a league style competition which is run over three months. It's basically shadows the in-game seasons. So the season starts at the first of the month. This one starts the first Friday of the month. I think it's how it works. Um, and so the, it runs weekly. Uh, sorry, let me back up again. Every month is a reserve theme. So the first one is White Heart Island. Uh, and so um, then the next month it goes it goes in order of the reserves that are in the launcher so next nick the next month is going to be loggers point or poggers as i like to call it and after that's going to be settlers etc okay so every week you can win ems and trophies just like the normal competitions apart from now you get league points so if you come first you get 10 points if you come 10th you get one point at the end of that month so every month has four competitions in it at the end of that month the points are tallied up and the winners get a reserve jacket which is basically your uh, way to show off how good a hunter you are right so that jacket that i put in the discord that is the one that you've seen for hemeldale okay every jacket has special properties to it uh, for that reserve nothing hardcore there's nothing op about it it's basically just free sneaky 3d camo for that reserve okay but it's a one like they're limited edition jackets right you can only get it if you win that month 
Um, so it's kind of a, a pretty standard format for the competitions. So it's seven attempts, one for each day of the week. Competition runs for a week. The sales run for a week now as well. Um, so yeah, uh, single player only, unless it's ducks and geese and stuff. Okay, if it's, if it's something where multiplayer doesn't matter, like ducks and geese, then we'll make it single player or multiplayer because we know that you will enjoy playing with your friends. Um, so you you can you know like every week you still got a good chance to compete for a trophy and some EMs. Then overall, as a month, you have a uh, you know you can compete for a jacket, and then after three months, after the end of the season we'll be crowning a few people as like hunting champions basically so um that is how the format is going to work for it all which will be another nifty shiny jacket okay so i mean potentially if you're an absolute master which the way classic like basically classic works right if somebody wins every single month we're probably having a look at their account if you know what i mean right it's uh, it's too much of a random game uh to be to be that consistent with right i think you could probably get in the top 10 if, pretty easily if you dedicated enough time uh to it so yeah and the seven attempts obviously is a balance between the all day people and then the weekend warriors as well if you know what i mean like if you only get seven attempts uh then you can't just keep spamming to get big animals you kind of still have to hunt it out so that's that's the balance there between spawn mashes that's what they're called and then the you know the the weekend people as well that, that are uh, uh, into it. Hey, hey, uh, Erica, how are you doing? Are the servers up? The server is open today, actually. The server is uh, open today. We <laughs> love you, New Zealanders. <laughs> Thanks. So, um, I don't know if I said this. I pitched. I pitched this competition to the company. Three, two years ago, three years ago, I'd have to go and have a look. And so um, the Ringtail guys have, t have picked it up and said this looks like, uh, you know, something we want we want to get involved in. So um, if 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 it doesn't work out, you can you can come and can blame me. But I, I've I've thought about it all the way through um, as someone who knows the game inside out, knows how the competitions w have worked historically, know how people play the game how much time they have to play the game again that's what we're saying about having the the seven attempts right one for each day is basically how uh, um, actually that was avery who put the seven and i wanted five so you can thank avery for that yeah so uh the competitions are always like every weekly competition is always the biggest okay so tomorrow like i say we're starting on white heart for the first month um it's going to be your big your sorry not biggest your highest scoring your highest scoring white tail okay then the next week will be another animal that is found on white heart white heart island and it'll be the highest scoring of that and and that's how it goes every single month right so um yeah so the the password ladies and gentlemen i'll put it in here now is uh, it's a real real cracker of one there's no competitions oh eric you were really close you were really close eric it's wt123 there we go I don't worry about a trophy. Oh, Matt, that's the other thing too. Is like um, d this kind of might you like? Oh, I don't know. You know, everyone looks. I've been looking at the launcher sometimes for a little bit. Like, oh, I don't really know what I want to play today. It's like, hey, let's go to White Heart Island. And you know, while we're there, there's a nice competition on. Um, can can try our luck at it. You know what I mean? And then, yeah, I'm looking forward to seeing these prestige jackets it's basically what it is right is i am the you know it's what it is you're saying is I, I am the hunter champion for the for the for the month i'm the reserve champion and then after the end of the season you are the season champion that's basically how it works there so uh yeah it's pretty damn cool uh dominic how are you doing good to see you so I'm just going to sit here and uh, call a few whitetail and while I talk to you about it. Has anyone got any questions? I actually try, like, spent about an hour trying to make a chart to show how it was going to work. And I was just like, no, it, I couldn't work out how to lay it out looking nice. So I just didn't. I just didn't. Hey, do I know how you doing? 
Uh, will there ever be pigeons in the Hunter Classic? I don't know, Joe. Maybe. Uh, it's it's actually been quite a commonly requested animal uh, in in Classic, uh, especially wood pigeons. Um, mainly, obviously, from the Europeans, they seem to really like uh, shooting wood pigeons. So, yeah. Hey, Jay, how you doing? Will it be noob friendly? Well, the thing about it, Lady Nebrew, is is that like classics pr pretty random and and the fact that you could walk out of the lodge and you'll get a the first animal you find is the biggest one you know what i mean so you are in a league against everybody but everyone has the same result uh, the same chances and then the only real difference is maybe people have better aim or can navigate through quiet more quietly or something like that you know like it's not really uh, stacked super in, in, in either one side. I don't think so e e uh, either. So, um, guessing games today. You guessing games today? Definitely guessing games today. Going to rack and stack some of these does in here. How many jackets? Uh, no, sorry. Actually, Avery, you in here? I actually can't remember. I think. Avery, is it top three or just top one for the month? Hopefully Avery's in here listening. He usually is. I'm just trying to remember. I didn't. I couldn't remember actually how many uh, jackets are given out. So the month is top three. There we go. And but it's one per. It's one per. Correct. Yeah. There we go. Month. That's right. So the reserve you get. Yeah. So for the month, you know, the, the the four week competitions, you get three jackets of that. Yeah, yeah, and Erica. Uh, what's today? Thursday, right? I'll see how I go. I might um, I might play some later on tonight. I've been doing nothing but work this week, so. Um, hey, Jexy, how you doing, bud? Uh, it, it will be full probably already, yeah. I mean, it's not, it's not one of the bigger reserves, this one, so. Um, I've, uh, I think I set it to six people limit this one, so. Uh, yeah, so, and this is, so this is the other thing about it, okay, is every month it moves across the launcher. So, first off White Heart, second Logger's Point, then Settlers, and then is it Red Feather Falls after Settlers? But basically you guys can plan ahead with this all the time, so if you've got you know equipment you want to move to a different res different reserve um or whatever like that it's called too so the news lucas uh, is that there is a hunting league coming to classic um so it is a um it's 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 run across the whole hunting season which is three months there is a competition every week where you can win um you know ems and a trophy uh, and then on top of that you get points so if you get first you get 10 points. If you come 10th, you get one point. The points that tallied up to the end of the month, where we find the top three reserve champions, those three people get reserve jackets, which are, it's basically like a trophy, prestige trophy that you can wear on yourself all the time, right? So what is it, cycling and golf and things like that? I think they have like jackets you can wear like that too. And then so every month is reserved for, uh, themed. So that's uh, so again, White Heart Island to start with. Uh, and then uh, a Pogger's Point, Logger's Point second, uh, right. Settler's third. And then once the season ends, we go into the, you know, the, the next three and stuff like that. So uh, I think I see a doe over there, a deer, a female deer. I do. Um, yeah. Pogger's point. Yeah, that's it. I mean, I it just comes out automatically. Sorry, but I think it's funny. Binky, is there a Binky in here? Where's Binky? Why do I not see him? Hey, Oxygen Hog. How you doing, man? I haven't seen you for ages. I'm I'm gonna say. Uh, go to the start of the stream basically and have a listen if you can go back I think otherwise I'm gonna I'll repeat it again at 430 but I've just done it twice uh, and it's uh, you know it's taken about 10 minutes to do it twice so um, if just stick around and we'll, we'll go over it more but there's there is a hunting league coming to classic soon that's what it's all about 
so. Oh, we got a piebald. Surprise, nice, bud. So, hopefully we get, sorry about the epilepsy if you got all the flashy lights. I'm not going to jump down yet, I'm just going to see if there's, get any, uh, any other calls. And, because you never know, right? <coughs> oh, we had coyotes before too, didn't we? Let's, let's get some, get some coyotes on, in I should say, crossbows up. I still have enough arrows for that, so. What animal have the hardest missions? There we go. Hopefully we get some coyotes in. Um, what animal has the hardest missions? Oh, I actually don't know. Uh, Lubo skill, sorry. I'm not sure. I, I don't, I haven't really done, I've probably done about a third of the missions, I think. Something like that. Not really a mission person. Even in Call of the Wild, I don't, I kind of have to force myself to do them. I like the, freedom to just do what I want, you know, so. Hey, Martin, how you doing? Yeah, that'd be right, though, Hosen, yeah. Those, those, uh, would be pretty hard missions to do, the Lynx ones and stuff. All right, all right, all right, all right. We're going to do it again. I'm going to do it again. <laughs> so, there is a hunting league coming out to Classic soon. Do I hear something? Hang on. Is it two? I thought I saw one over here too. Or it's the same one. Uh, there is a hunting league coming to Classic soon. Um, it is run over the whole season. So you know how we have seasons in game. Um, it's, it doesn't quite line up. Basically, a season will start. Yeah, buddy. This is what we're after. Oh, hopefully. I think my uh, headphones have reversed, actually. Nope. Not good. I'm just going to chuck a, uh, a dot on that because, oops, it's not quite where it was. Close enough. Oh, there's a few coming in. And it's 52. Sorry, I'll, I will get there in a second. I'll just focus on this for a second. But uh, it runs over the whole month. Uh, there are competitions every week, though. So basically... Um, the reserve, like every month has a different reserve theme and so every week is a different animal from that re that uh, reserve so for instance the first why oh yeah, these ones not coming in that's weird the first um first reserve is oh that's a, that's a, that's a pretty good one oh there's another one there too um <coughs> Excuse me, the first reserve is White Heart Island, and tomorrow we start with White Tail Deer, okay? So it's the highest scoring White Tail Deer. Um, if you win that week, you get EMs, trophies, but then you also get league points, basically. Ten points for first, one for tenth, and then at the end of the month, so every, like, say you manage to win every competition that of that month, you'd have 40 points, okay? And you'd be crowned the winner. Um... I don't know what happens if there's a, a draw, actually, Avery. I don't know if Avery can help us out with that one. I was thinking about that today. Because there is, you know, it is it is a possibility, right? Um, yeah, all right. First guessing game we're going to do on this uh, Coyote. Um, at the end of the month, if you win, you're crowned the reserve champion. And uh, you get a reserve jacket. Oops, I don't, what am I doing? You, you get a reserve jacket. Um, and so that's kind of like your, you can wear that round proudly as the reserve champion, basically. So. I saw that one too, Ned, yeah. Call again, you reckon, Spawn? I think it's probably spooked, to be honest with you. Alright, guess game on this Cody, ladies and gentlemen. It was 52 to 58, I think. Let's see what you think it is. Yeah, so if you want to have an idea of what the jackets look like, go to the Discord, have a look at the classic streaming announcement channel. I put a little sneak shot there of the Hemeldale jacket in there. So the jackets 
don't they're not anything op they just give you basically free 3d sneaky effects for that for that map so yeah All right, all right, all right. Let's do this. Let's grab my pen and paper here. There we go. All right. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Eh, eh, eh. All right. So we got uh, Kyle in youtube with the last guess and ned's got the twitch one sorted out um i'll see sorry buddy you just missed out on that 53.96 uh let me have a look uh right there eric i know eric's good uh oh i hear something 53.98 splaining <laughs> to do that's gonna be real hard to beat dude 53.98 for splaining to do 53.8 is not closer, unfortunately, Scarlet Quiver, that was very close as well. 53.5, I don't know what this animal is. As soon as I get out of here, it's going to spook. 53.4, splaining to do, is it? Please feel free to correct me if I'm wrong, but... I think it's splaining to do. Got to be splaining to do, right? What is your... Uh... It's Rat's fault. Um, what is your in-game name, splaining? I think it is something like that, isn't it? What was that at? 50... 53. Nah, it's not a taxidermy. Now, I would love to know what just spooked. I'd love to know. I'm not going to pick... I'm not going to do this... Um... This buck here, we'll go and shoot something bigger. So, it is splaining to do. I thought it was. Let me write that down. Uh, Splain. Just to make sure I get it right. Splain. Yep. And to do. Perfect, man. Congratulations. Good guess. Uh, yeah, it might have been the elk. We'll go and have a look. I'll go and head towards where the elk were. Um. I know there's more deer here somewhere. There it is. A little, little start. 57. He was a toddler. All right, all right, all right. I think we've got everything now. Let's head towards where those elk were. I'll go a little bit slower. Put some, uh, some smelly smell on, and we're out of here. So now I saw uh, a question from Woke. So the league competitions <laughs> oh man he's so close should we go and get the bob we gotta get the bobcat right a tiddler oh that's a kiwi and aussie slang for small something that's small snowy so yeah but no um so for the league competitions it's single player only unless it's like birds okay so like uh ducks and geese ones that multiplayer doesn't really you know affect them then we'll make those ones multiplayer as well so uh hey dragon hey Nash, how you doing hey randomus how you doing buddy man it's so good to see you Rude. it really is i've been like as much as i like I, like i do the stream I, i'm kind of quite out of the classic loop Especially with the community and stuff, so it's great to see some uh, some familiar faces. That's for sure. All right, let's turn this bobcat lure on. Let's see what we can get in here. Hopefully, it didn't run away. It was pretty close. Um, we can get we can track down those elk for sure. So no multiplayer doesn't affect the spawns. Sorry. Um, basically, unfortunately, there's people that. Uh, abuse the multiplayer system for competitions um, for you know like to get around the attempts and stuff like that so that's what I mean by that sorry Savannah <laughs> come back to the forums Ash I should I should pop in but the problem is I'll get I'll just get jumped on and beat up in there 
you know, it'll be uh, it'll be intense, that's for sure. It's not a bobcat there in the grass, is it? No. Um. So yeah, the I, again, like if you haven't seen kind of the sneak peek of the jackets, it's that really nice cut uh, jackets, like the dev jackets. If you've seen those, and then it's got the reserve emblem on the back, and it's got like you know the camouflage for the map and stuff like that too. So it's very nice. Why aren't using the snake bike present? I have a. I don't know. I do like the snake bite, but I don't find it my weapon of choice, my bow of choice, really. So the competition single player only. Yeah, but basically, if if you guys don't know why we do that. Unfortunately, there was a group of people, uh, actually I can tell you because it doesn't really matter, right? But basically, people would have a multiplayer game open, they have different accounts, then they use those accounts to find a big animal, and then they bring their other account in to shoot the animal, right? So the seven attempts thing could be like 36, or I don't know what the multiplication of seven threes was, 21 attempts, there we go. So if you have two, you know, three accounts... It's, did it just run away? Something ran away. I think we have uh, might have missed this cat. I'll give it a little bit more time, so, yeah. So basically that's why, for any of the real hardcore competitions like this, that's why we make them single player only. Just can't exploit that, that attempts thing. Um, so, yeah. Uh, uh, uh. When is Classic coming to the console? Uh, Stephanie, unfortunately, it probably won't. Oh, there he is. Probably won't because it's just uh, too old. That's another coyote. All right then. Looks like we've got a little bit of a a walk to do, but we'll we'll do a uh, we'll do a uh, a guess on this. What was it? Eight to ten, I think. Was that the guess right up? Can you make new Nordic maps, please? Uh, Took we have Himmeldal in this game, which is based in Sweden, but uh, has all the uh, classic. All the classic, Nor uh, you know, Nordic animals in it, really. Because there'd be a hue and cry over people not being able to play together properly. What was that one about? Uh, uh, obscure name here, sorry. Um, so yeah, we've we've left uh, like bird competitions in, so um, you know, ducks and geese like that. Because it doesn't really matter for that one, like. You can't. You could spot a big duck, but the chances that you get it in and it lands again is just like a million to one. So we're not too worried about that sort of that 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 sort of stuff. But, ah, there was another another white-tailed deer here. Oh, that's what fled. That's what fled before. It wasn't the elk, so the elk didn't come in. There we go. All right, ladies and gents. Looks like a biggish bobcat, isn't it? Or is that just me? Look like a big one. Nearly right between the eyes. Chucky guesses out. I missed uh, what was said again, actually. Have I ever hunted chamois? No, I have not, actually. I've never hunted chamois. Um, would I want to? I guess I would want to one day, one day yeah. Yeah, it'd be a nice challenge with the bow, that's for sure. Oh, look at all these guesses coming in, huh? Alright, we're going to wrap this up in 10. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, and 
looking. I'm looking. So there you go. Ned's got it. And David Rennie in YouTube is the last guess in YouTube. And Hosen's got it anyway. 9.12. I think that's my second biggest one. So I'm pretty damn happy with that. Let me... Oh, wow. There's a lot of guesses here. I'm scrolling. I'm scrolling. I think that's it there. Uh, I'm going to start looking for some nines here. I feel... 9.24 would be closest so far for Lubo but oh maths Pele with 9.06 is no it is closer it is closer yes it is so Pele uh, closest so far 9.24 9.05, it's still not close, uh, 9.1 for Hosen, 9.16 for Hosen Fira is closer so far, oh my gosh, 9.10 is closer for Corn Snake. <laughs> guys, you're going to make me have an aneurysm here in a second, uh, that's the last Bobcat guess he came with too. I'm trying to look, I think Corn Snake's got it, we're definitely going to probably need to pull the I think Corn Snake's got it. Is so is this is this not a bad one for? I think I have a nine point two though. I think. Oh, I'll slap it in the talk taxi dummy. Beautiful. All right, let's go and pursue these elk, huh? Oh, let's pursue these elk through this. Just gonna keep, you know, hitting the old caller. <coughs> Math is hard. Math is hard. God, that just gets me gets me cranking every time, right? Every time, a good time. I hope, I hope he's got some friends with him. <coughs> Oh, too many donuts. Can't get through. Ah, drop, drop some donuts to get through that gap. <coughs> hey, Kudu, my man. How you doing, bro? Hey, Kudu, I'm heading to South Africa. We're going to plan as long as World War Three doesn't happen in June. So yeah, watch a 400 plus. Oh, dude, that'd be awesome. I ain't even a lion. I just see him. No. Maybe. This is going to be TK sized elk. There we go. Uh, up in the Lumpop Lumpopo, is that how you say it? Look at this thing, it's massive. Uh... <laughs> Absolutely huge. Massive. He could have friends with him. But I don't think so. Forty five to one thirty five. Oh, cheers, Avery. Also, not badly pronounced, okay. Nimple pool. Yeah, um, it's, uh, it's a bigger place, a bigger farm. Kudu, it's, uh, I don't, actually, I don't know what is class as big, but it's, 
a th 1,500 hectares is the main part, then they have access to a 90,000 hectare block as well, so it should be pretty good fun. Hey Jimbo, how you doing man? Good to see ya. Jimbo, what's the time? Oh, let's do a recap, huh? I'll pick this up. I'm not going to do a guess on this one, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, is any of the mods on YouTube? Got like a little bit of a, uh, you know, someone slightly immature in there. Right, this one's for Jimbo, all right? So we have a Hunter League coming out tomorrow. Have good luck. Be ex excellent, my friend. Yana, thank you very much. Just stick around and listen to this, okay? <laughs> it's going good, Jimbo. It's going good. So Hunter League starts tomorrow, which is run across the full season in uh, in the Hunter Classic. It's week, like every month has a different uh, reserve theme. So the first... And they go across the top of the launcher. So the first reserve is White Heart Island, okay? And the first week, it is Whitetails. Every weekly competition is always the highest scoring animal. But that animal will always be uh, in the reserve and based on that reserve, right? So Whitetail Deer in White Heart Island is the first one. You win EMs and trophy like usual, but now you also get uh, league points, okay? And so the league points tally up and... Uh, tally up across the month and so the winner at the end of the month is crowned the reserve champion and first second and third get reserve jackets okay which is a really nice kind of prestige jacket um, it's like an in-game trophy that you actually wear on yourself uh, it has the 3d sn sneaky 3d camo of that reserve as well affixed to it um, and uh, yeah you can strut around in it you know being the reserve champion and then so the next reserve after that is uh, loggers and then the next one after that is settlers and then of course that's the end of, the, of that first league so the points tally up across the whole league and then at the uh, uh, after the third month we get a league champion as well so so you win it by comps yeah so you have to enter the league competition so there's going to be a new tab in the competition menu coming up soon in the launcher um, so yeah that should should help clear things up a little bit China you like the you like in the game is anyone there I'm gonna go up here and see what's up here female bobcat really I, I, I more coyotes up here too I think I'm just gonna go for a bit of a walk and stalk up this way actually I mean, there could be other things here, but. But yeah, so that'll be pretty cool. That could be a thing called, well, but cheaters are from. Yeah, Mr. Foster, I mean. There'd need to be a massive overhaul of the Call of Wild um, back end and cheat system and all that other stuff for for a league kind of style thing to go in um so yeah this should be it should be good so i i'm gonna put my hand up here i was talking to avery about this this was originally my idea um and it's aimed to be like it, you should have incentive every week okay so even if you're not you know gonna win that month um you know you want to try and get points because it, it, it tallies up across the whole the whole three months whole season and then also you, of course, can win EMs and a nice trophy as well. Um, but then, you know, uh, of course, say you, you strike out for that month, there's always next month, right? Uh, you know, so, you know, you can start again, basically. It's like weekly incentives, monthly incentives, and then, court, you know, quarterly year incentives as well, I guess. Um, so I didn't want it to be a long competition that had no reoccurring hooks into it. Otherwise, you're only going to get, you know, like a top, 20 people that will continue to to do it so yeah and, and like i saying as i tried to think about it as balanced as possible in terms of people's time frame so that's why there's seven attempts that's why it's on single player only because it's pretty hardcore unless we're doing ducks and geese uh, and any other flying things like that um, we put those in as multiplayer because everyone does like playing with their friends 
stuff like that. So, uh, I don't know sign language either, Mel. Sorry, so I can't help you. So what do you guys think of this? Is what do you got? You got any questions? Got any concerns? You're looking forward to it? Is it not your thing? You know, competitions aren't everyone's thing. Uh, but hopefully, like, like, like the way I'd look at it, right, is I'd be like, okay, well, this is on this week, and I will enter in it, and I'll hunt that reserve. And you know what I mean? Is like you can either go hardcore in it and just go for that species, or have it on as something as a bonus to you to accompany accompany your hunts. And also, like, you know, some people use missions to help them, you know, decide what they want to do for that day or give, give them a focus. Use this to, to help you as well, you know, so. I'll get it downloaded now. There we go. Yeah, and Classic's free, of course, so. Pretty good spot I found. Let's have a look. Where are you at? Oh, yeah, that's, that's not too bad up in there. Um, I'm just kind of going a I've got this much time route so if that makes sense to you i'm just kind of trying to make a, a line straight across here basically so uh, what guns are you using so i always use bows basically uh genie so yeah no so it's going to be always high score dubstep llama just just to keep it simple so it's all it is is like people know what's coming in uh and um yeah so that that's what it's going to be every week it's always going to be the highest scoring of that species um so yeah for instance tomorrow we start with white heart island it's the first reserve theme for a month the first week is white tail deer the second one i don't know third one i don't know fourth one i don't know um i don't know how much of that we're going to give out actually maybe it's nice to keep you kind of something excited to look forward to or guessing about talk to avery about that actually i'm not i don't I'm not not too worried at all but you can plan for these events so if you open up the launcher and you go single player game multiplayer game it goes in order of the how the uh, reserves are placed across the top of the map okay so like you can if you have to move gear and get it ready for the next month you can do that you can go and set that map up and get it ready so you can really hunt it efficiently efficiently does anybody see this? Oh, there she is down there. Wow, so invisible. I wonder how close you can get. Pretty close. I think that's her lungs. That was her lungs. All right, so Alki is sleeping at the moment. Shot in a bed. It's too late. Blah 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 blah. Uh, and permitted weapons. Yeah. Uh, will it work for the whole reserve specifically, or is it going to mimic an existing sneaky three D? Oh, I didn't actually clarify that, Avery. Is it every, like we were talking about with Himmeldale, Avery, is it just the forest or is it the whole map for the sneaky 3D, actually? That's a good point. Gear work, how you doing, buddy? I'm doing good, man. I hope you're doing good as well. The Milwaukee, nice. Now she's taking a, a, a dirt nap, exactly. You give elk a heartache. Bam, meow. Oh. Is that a buck? That looks like a buck, didn't it? We better go and find out. I couldn't see the antlers on them because they were too much glare. But the body size was pretty big, so let's go and have a look. Uh, mimics whatever camo it would be normally. So if it's full forest camo. It's still full forest camera. Okay, but um, like, like for instance, Hirsch, Belden, and Avery, you need two two sets of 3D sneaky camo for it. So would it have both of them or just one of them? Do 
just the one it looks like okay there we go cool cool bananas Whew. all right it looks like some tracks there seven attempts for the whole week uh week uh mrm mr mr yes that's correct um so basically in which i agree with it was avery's idea is to do one per day right maybe you want to come home from work and have your crack you know um or maybe you want to just binge all seven of them on one day you can can do whatever you want jacket can be less desirable why is that next it's a one-of-a-kind trophy jacket now you can't buy this in the store if you've got it you're gonna be you know you're gonna be top dog basically Says basketball team rocky bucks it is a hunting animal. I'm guessing they're bucks then. Because this one bounced around a little bit, he might not have run so far. I don't think he's massive, judging by the weight, but you never know. Wow. Do do bo dum. Dum dum bo dum bo dum. Should really stop being lazy and get my binoculars out and glass a little bit more. Did I miss the track or is it just that spread out? I feel like I've missed a track or it's gone somewhere differently. gone somewhere else why are you always lying come on hunter mate well actually the hunter mate doesn't lie the deer are just sneaky very sneaky yeah well Hello from Madeira Island. Hello to you too, Octavio. Please don't sing. It's not very nice. I definitely don't have the best voice in the world, but I do enjoy to have fun. Ah, I would say I'm bad at singing, Mum. <laughs> right let's go and have a look at uh yeah i think we're going to have a look at the bridge down here what is this estimate the weight was 85 on it uh, way but we didn't get to see the thing you know Uh, yeah, and then so next week, hopefully we can show you guys the fallow deer, which will be awesome. Um, I've been looking forward to them for a little while. I've seen some photos of them now too. Pinned them up on my wall. They look really good. Photo just there. Little XOXO signed from Avery on there. It's good times. Just joking, by the way. How many? Do have pictures on my wall. Uh, 
singing or dropping f bombs. Take a pick. Hey, hey, there's been far more singing than any f bombs. Oh, there he is. Oh, whoa, hang on. Man, that looked like a really big rack on him. Damn it. I think this is a different one, though. Are they sleeping? Was he sleeping? How did I not see that? That looked like a good one, didn't it? Oh, don't even think about it, Flipsy. Just go and do it, man. Yeah, you are getting fellow deer. Oh, it's the same deer. PSC, pull shoot explode. No, they're nice. I shot the, uh, I shot the uh, PSC at ATA show actually. Oh, they were good. It looked pretty good, didn't it? Is that it? Butt down in the. What down or is that an elk down there? Or is that a rock? That's an elk. All right, what's the time? We've got to get we, we've got to get this deer now. I gotta at least see. It. I'm gonna I'm putting my yellow glasses on. Sorry, ladies and gentlemen. It's serious time, all right? No more playing around. It's serious time. I see some elk over there. So there's a good chance that it didn't at least go down that way because they would have spooked. So did it go this way then? Hmm. I mean, it felt, it felt like it should have gone the other way, but I'm just trying to find a track to start us off. Okay, there is a track here. Is this a fleeing track? Probably is. Unless it was walking back this way. Oh, maybe we're on to it. Maybe if we're really super lucky, it's gone ping pong ball-y down in this uh, little pinnacle peninsula down here. I got my smelly smell on. I don't know how I didn't see that. It's going to be someone like, how did you not see that, TK? I'm like, I don't know. I don't know. Am I happy with uh, you not getting any information out of me? Can anyone get to pump me for some? There's no information pumping going on here, ladies and gentlemen. Next week you shall find out a little bit more information. You nearly had me there, Mr. Irwin. Oh, there we go, Nax. Yeah, exactly, man. All right. Did it go this way? I don't think so. I just, I've just got to get binoculars on this thing because it looked, it looked a little strange, right? Here's another track here. Maybe it's nothing, but... Hmm. Oh, stick again. I, I'd love to see Africa in this game. I'd love to see Africa. It's, um... Oh, it would be amazing, right? I 
I see another track. It's mean, so hard to find anything in here because it's so thick. Excuse me. Oh, it's a little bit of indigestion coming up. No, oh, I don't want that one. I want this one. Has anybody, like, Jimbo or, or Radimus or anyone, have you guys ever counted how many flame tracks there are, roughly? Probably changes a little bit, but I would say there's like, you know, kind of a happy medium there somewhere. James, yeah, I mean, there's a, uh, man, I mean, if I had one, one dream for this game, I, it would be, it would be Africa for this, for this, 100%. Um, but whether it happens or not, that's another question. He's here somewhere. Either that or I spooked him again. What did Lynn say? So what do you got what do you veterans of this game think about the league? Like you know, I know you guys are super chill actually about a lot of stuff, but you but you do enter a lot of the competitions too, so If you're not sure what's going on, I'm just putting the yellow glasses on quickly to try and cut through some of the... The fog. Oh, not the fog, sorry, the... Might be another fleeing track. I didn't hear anyone run. Fleeing again. Uh, Binky, catch you later, buddy. Thanks for joining, mate. Have a good one. Probably just that when I can. I doubt it'll be every week, on the month. So, like, be, be. so I'll let you know, be enough to win, but with it being exclusively high school based, there's still a chance 
as we're trying. Yeah, exactly. And I mean, yeah, that's the other thing about like there's no long distance sh shots or or anything like that. So uh, it just was kind of the the whole. Yeah, it just felt like the best one to pick out of everything, really. Uh, I'm not sure if I will or not yet, Snowy. We'll just see. Is the in-game mail waiting call... Waiting call of access to your little thing? What do you mean by waiting... Uh, Owen. I, I, I don't know a lot about Access Deer IRL, so, um, yeah, not sure, sorry. Since it's just a high score, I'll be playing a bit more. There we go, Dubstep, yeah. There we go, that's good. That's good feedback. Like, we kind of just wanted to keep it sim a simple structure too, right? Hopefully we can see him down here. I'm looking where I want him to be. New trail. Whatever that is up over there. That's exactly where surprise oh, not quite where surprising spot was. Well, I guess what we could do is call this one, let the other one calm down a bit, maybe. Might not be a bad idea. Let's do that. I see you there. Nine forty to one sixty-five. It's not. It's not massive, but it's not bad. My favorite weapon, I like the bows in this one, I think, Wyatt. Um, Parker Python, uh, for sure, but uh, Pulsar is nice, too. Um, now only four weeks for each reserve at a time. I'm curious to see which animals get chosen each week. Yeah, that's a good point, too, Ash, actually. I didn't even, uh, didn't really think about that part of it. He's got quite a high rack on him, isn't he? Where is your gun? It's uh, in my magic backpack. My magic. Love this game. Uninstalled Call of Old once I started playing this one. That's cool, Max. Very cool. Both have, both have their, I mean, you get asked about the slots. But both have their good purposes to them, you know. Imagine if the uh, right hand side was as big as the left hand side. Very high rack on them. Oh no, there's a dip here. Did not anticipate the dip. Uh oh. I 
I don't know if we got away with it or not. I think he was looking at us. Initiate crossbow. Well, he's walking. Bam! Right, ladies and gentlemen, get your guess again for that. I'm gonna have to try and push this. There we go. She's... Wait, was that another buck? Small one, I think. Small buck, I think. Oh. Came in blind behind those bushes on me. Get your guesses in, ladies and gents. We're not done yet. We're going to quickly go and see if we can find that other one. Just because the rack looked a bit weird on it. So I'm going to wrap this up super fast. Alright. 10. 9. 8. 7. 6. 5. 4. 3. 2. One. Why do I have a lot of people ringing me? Hang on. Uh, 140.9. Let's have a look. 140.9. And 40. It was right on the bottom then, wasn't it? Oh no, I hear something else. Hosen, can you. Just in case this is this buck. 140.9 Memphis, how you doing, bud? See antlers, I think. No worries, just have fun, man. Good to see you, bud. I think I saw antlers. Scarlet, got it? Nice! Thank you very much for sorting that out, uh, you fantastic people. Concerned. I don't know whose number this is and why they've rung me so much. I always think, ah, something's going wrong. Where is this animal? There he is. Don't think it's. I don't think it was worth writing home about. Be awfully nice if you stopped messing around and just came in. Oh, this is. Inf Infuriating. There he is. Now, that'll be him. And those are the antlers we saw. Just super wide boy. Alright. Ooh, if I can get this out in time. Last guess, ladies and gentlemen. 115 to 140. Get him in. Get those scores in. 
115 to 140. Look how wide that is. That is redonkulous. <laughs> so wide and so low. It's crazy. All right. Are you guys ready? Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five. It was, uh, where did it go? It was 140.9. Zero was the last one, if that helps you. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Eh, eh, eh. There we go. 123.46. Any guesses? Thanks, Ned. Well, let's have a look in here. One, oh, lots of 125, 121, 122.6 would be the closest. 123.4. Wow, 0.47. Mount Moving Joe, my man. That is closer than Stunt Masters, which is also 1.2. 1234, sorry, I should say. One, two, three, four, seven, Mountain Moving Joe. Anyone got closer than that? M -m 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 Mountain Moving Joe, I think. Anyone else get better than that one? That is fantastic. It's awesome. Al, I'm sorry, buddy. I got to race and race off and uh, get dinner. Go and check out the start of the stream. I talk all about it uh, quite extensively at the start of the stream. So. Thank you very much, everybody. I uh, I really appreciate you all. I'm super excited for this, and I hope you guys are as well. Be interested to see sort of like the, uh, you know, the amount of participants we get and stuff like that too, right? So it should be good. Thank you very much. Have a fantastic uh, weekend. Appreciate you all. And yeah, oh, bo bo oh, bo boy. <laughs>